Okay guys, um, this morning I decided to smash it out on the stepper and remember when I used to run up over a penny fan um, and kind of give a couple of points on the tabling, just generally being an airborne tabbing monster or yobbing, mon yobbing? yomping monster. Uh, when you do your tabbing, guys, uh, lads ask me how do I get good at it. When I used to do it, mindset was a massive factor and then thinking about how you're going to do your runs and your shuffles. <clears throat> if you keep it too long, you can knack yourself out. If you get a decent rhythm, count yourself 100 paces, 100 paces walking, maybe 200 paces running, maybe 100 paces running, 100 paces walking. Well, working out is 59 paces for me was 100 meters. So I'd be able to work that out the whole time. And I was always keeping fluids coming into me, jelly babies, forward sweeps, you name it, anything that keeps my energy nice and high. If I'm out on a route, <clears throat> I know the route in my head, so I'm meant to prepare myself. And I make sure that I know when I'm going to have to push hard, get myself through it. If you're tapping up a hill, yeah, you're probably going to slow down. As soon as it comes to a flat or the gradient gets easier, that is when you turn into a fucking monster and you go for it. As soon as you feel that gradient ease off, just run and keep running and then tab and then run and then tab. Guys, how do I get my legs good for it? Leg and um, single leg press, single step ups, using the wobble board, um, getting on a stepper pushing the intensity levels and just making yourself work really hard. If you're going over the hills, I like Penny Fan, when I was smashing it out between 30 and 30 minutes to the top of Penny Fan from Story Park, and the car park I mean, it's a really, really good time. Anything between 35 to 40 minutes hitting that top point and above that, you're just dropping down a pace. Know the route. As soon as you leave Story Arms, you're hitting that really hard section right at the start. A lot of that like totally phases blokes out, but just know you need to push it hard because as soon as you break that top of that first hill, you've got a bit of a flat and a downhill and you can push it then. And you're getting yourself ready to put yourself up that long leg up to the top of Penny Fan, down over the back, uh, down Jacob's Ladder, which can be pretty treacherous depending on what kind of time of year it is. Going down it on ice isn't that fun. Get down around the bottom sheep track, leg it down Roman Road. When you hit that Roman Road, you just run, full stop. You just go for it, keep pushing yourself as far as you can, slow down, tab fast, back into running, get down turnaround point, juice, fluids, food, you name it, you throw it down your neck. Don't worry about what you look like, you probably look like an absolute animal like I did. Stuff hanging off you, well not stuff hanging off you, but food hanging off you, <laughs> bits and pieces everywhere. Turn around, head in the game, bang straight back up that track and you push yourself hard again mentally getting yourself ready then you're coming back up the Roman road around that sheep track nice route that straight up fucking Jacob's ladder which is fucking hard but you just dig in and you get it fucking done simple as that paratrooper attitude ball marine attitude any attitude that pushes you to get yourself fucking through it full stop and just push 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 a lot of it comes down to attitude guys you put your mind to it, you can achieve fucking anything. Many, many years ago, I had a, my platoon sergeant said to me, Danny, I really don't mind, mate. You can hammer the weights as much as you want, but you have to keep up with the platoon. I don't care if you're a big guy, but you have to keep up with the platoon. So, I'm, yeah, no worries, I'll do that. And I ever did. I always smashed it. And I made sure that when I went and did my PTI course, even though I was a big bloke, I'd set the standard, I'd lead the way, and I'd inspire the blokes. The same with officers. Guys, you need to insp inspire your men underneath you. Set the standard. Just because you're an officer doesn't mean you're some fucking God's gift. You need to be there to inspire the blokes, be one of the blokes, but also at the same time lead. You have to make the tough decisions. The geezers have to listen to you. But at the same time, you have to listen to the experience of the geezers to be able to learn from them, push yourself forward, push them forward, and work as a unit. Back in depot power, smash it out with the platoon. We were fucking fit guys. We had nailed a 10 miler between hour, hour and 10 minutes. Um, and P Company were machines, and it's an impressive thing to see. Again, it just comes down to mindset, conditioning, and uh, just being a fucking airborne warrior basically. As many of my good bodies back there, there can, uh, can tell you. Airborne, blood, blood clot. <laughs> so, just think about those little points, lads. 
I know I'm gobbing off. And I've been smashing this out now for nearly 55 minutes. Anyone who's done cardio with me knows that I fucking push it hard. Now I'll mix it up. I'll do my endurance training, I'll do my sprint training, hit training, swim training, it's a big must. Get yourself in the pool. Better to be doing some decent full body work and low impact on your knees. Because as we all know, soldiers have been doing it for many, many years. Security work, soldier work, you name it. Carrying heavy kit, all your body armor, patrol pack, Bergen, you name it. It takes out on your knees, takes out on your ankles, takes out on your lower back and causes drama. So if you can smash it out and get yourself doing low impact exercises as well, which is still going to push you and train you, condition you, then do it. There's nothing wrong with that. Think about how you're actually spacing out your training. One day do an endurance run, one day do a BFT pace, one day think about two minor pace, another six day, um, you know, on the sixth day, think about having a rest. Other days you're thinking about your eight miler, your 10 miler, and the kind of paces and speeds that you need to go, and over the kind of ground you need to cover. There's no point just running on the flat all the time thinking you're amazing. Get yourself over those hills and push yourself. When you're hitting hills, whatever comes goes up must come down. So just dig in and get it fucking done. End of. Don't sit there bitching and whining because you're a fucking idiot. You just need to fucking dig in. I can fucking do this. I am doing this. I'm getting this fucking done. And you get up over the top. Fucking poetry brat, you that. Fucking men who lead the way. So you think about that. All you young boys going out there, going to Marines, Paris, get that mindset right, and you will smash it. End of. Sit there bitching and whining. You're just going to fucking annoy people. Someone say, oh, you, get a fucking grip. I wasn't exactly the most uh, <laughs> nicest of medics, but I got a grip. So it's all good. So I'll make it happen, people. Listen to some of my airborne powers of wisdom. It's all good. And now just push yourself. Anytime I can give any advice, give me a shout. I'm happy to help. You know, I don't know anything or everything, but what I do know, I can pass on. I wish I had someone help me many, many years ago. Hence why now it's good to pass on whatever pills of wisdom I've got so we can help you guys out. Many, many years, when I was many, many years ago, it was many, many years ago, I had two, two awesome guys that both tattooed on my arms who inspired me. One was an ex-SBS geezer, the other one's a paratrooper. Both of them are fucking legends. Passed on a lot of information to me, passed on their mindset, and I inspired, or it, it inspired me, and I pushed myself to always be how they were, and I passed courses in their memory. I to use it as my focus to smash myself. And I did smash myself, and I did them proud. Still doing them proud now. The same with my best mate, God bless his soul. If you smash me getting ready on selection, and you got me into doing active recovery, I know one of the crazy monkeys who's probably listening to this thinking, Jesus, Danny. He was one of the other geezers, good boxes, who used to fucking push my cardio and got me into doing active recovery and being a machine. So think about always pushing yourself, guys. Don't just do 10 reps and stop. Don't just do a sprint and stop. Don't just do a long run and stop. Do it, do something else. Put it on top of it. Condition yourself to be able to push, 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 push. That's what it's about. You never know when you may have to keep fighting through, getting it done, you name it. Mix it up, make it happen, get the right fucking attitude. If not, the only person you're gonna fucking fail is your fucking self. And then if you fail your fucking team as well, fucking well behind tide you, because they'll be fucking pissed. And then you're also letting down the fucking geezers, which is fucking does not happen. You need to fucking make sure you get it done. So, pose wisdom today. That's fucking one hour smashed out. So, happy days, guys. Have a good one.